All right, guys, Supreme Kami here, and today we are going to be talking about AI Palette or specifically some of your standard four star AI Palette. Um, it's been a, quite a minute since I did one, so why not give it a shot? Because uh, we actually do have some pretty, you know, I would say better, you know, palette nowadays, so that's why I do want to quickly give you guys some good recommendation. Um, there's actually only five, uh, when I was scrolling through to see which one of the portrait that I'm looking for specifically, and I believe there's only five or actually four, but there's another one additional one that i want to add to the roster uh so let's actually get started um i feel like of all the ones that i'm going to be talking about today they are pretty much going to be supporting shooting based build specifically i want to say um i just couldn't find anything that melee would benefit from so that's pretty much the current state of the game uh shooting build are just a little i want to say superior um i just i just would think they're just pumping out way more support for them than for melee, I, which I, I think is outrageous, you know. Uh, give some love to melee, but like, what? why don't it get something better? Um, so the first one I do want to recommend is obviously going to be good old Kira. You know, why not? He's like probably one of the more um, plot armor based pilot and he got one of the better portrait. Look at this. Uh, so the first the first line is obviously like your conditions and then a the second three line is definitely going to be your effects So enemy shooting damage plus 35% and then for those that have been playing the game for a good minute That um, you know, this one is obviously a really really powerful portrait that you work alongside with your regular power boosting So this one is good. This one is definitely perfect. So depending on how your portrait mapping goes um, This one can definitely fit into that slot really nice just because of the fact that um, I would usually recommend um, go to your build project palette because they're amazing, they give you double portrait. But the thing is, for shooting base, there's just not that one specific pilot that I would say is really good. Uh, you obviously do have your Grey Maker, he's still phenomenal. But the thing is, uh, he only for a secondary trait, he only gives two back parts. So, what that means is this one, and then compared to the first portrait for Grey Maker, that is there's going to be a competition. Um, the competition is going to come down to how your portrait maps goes. Um, what I mean by that is like, what is your percentage per the damage trait versus your regular power boosting. So if let's say you have a little bit more as far as your power boosting, that will drop a little bit for the power boosting side and then add a little bit more to the uh, to the damage trait so I can get that really middle ground so I can get that maximum output right uh, because the mapping I, I don't there's not like an official way of doing it but from what people have been testing out if you have like a middle ground as far as your regular power boosting trait and then alongside with this type right there you actually do have a just a better output in, in, in general right so that's what we're working with here and you know essentially this comes down to what you need but i feel like if most people are let's say free to play they really don't have like the best posture possible this one can definitely this one is just really good for the shooting base build so sim simple as that um so since i did get the explanation out of the way of why you need damage trait compared to like strictly let's say power boosting or strictly power boosting plus uh, those buff trait um here's why um, I think the next one is actually Akino here. He is actually another phenomenal one that we're looking at. Star Wars, this one is definitely better than Kira. But the thing is, this one here is actually a little bit specific to only EXQ damage right here. And in as far as condition, this one is only for Gundam type. Um, so this one is definitely unfortunate just because I feel like Gundam type hasn't really been getting a lot of love as far as the portrait condition goes. So this one may or may not work in your favor, but uh, for those that are still running, let's say Gundam type and you are happen to be a middle shooter, this one definitely something you, do, you would want to go for that. So that's one. That's the second one right there. Uh, the other one is actually going to be the lock on stratus uh, this one is going to be the movie version this one is pretty much going to be the same thing this one is going to be working for the long shooter job losses right there um but this one same thing as uh, you know this one is uh, only going to be for long range so you must have long range active war tech on your build in order to practice this one this one pretty much the same thing just enemy shooting damage plus 30 percent so whatever right um so so far we have three out of the abundance that we have so that's good I mean, that, not that as good, but these are like the gem. <laughs> I would pretty much consider them like the gem of the shooting base build currently in a sense. Um, and then another one is actually just a little bit further. We actually have Stella. Um, Stella is actually another one that is going to be boosting along shooter right there. Uh, this one I actually like better 
than let's say Akira or even Walk on Stratus. Just because as soon as uh, pretty much it proctors when you have 60% 60, 60 or more in health. And then this one is pretty much another shooting damage plus 30%. Um, I would even consider this one better than Kira. Just because where tag you are mixing in high fire power. So for whatever subset you're working with, I think you might be better. But um, I will definitely want that 5 extra percent rather than the flat stat in, in a way, right? So that's pretty much the four ones like the four pilot that i will recommend for shooting mix build definitely um the first runner up is definitely going to be kira second runner up is definitely going to be stella and then as far as let's say uh, ahino and then for lock on they're definitely going to be your uh, specific to your own build um but there's a fifth one um the fifth one I, that i do want to mention real quick is actually going to be master asia um he is going to be the right now carry melee build in a, a little bit right uh, this one is going to be giving out that uh, buff EX skill effects up by 30%, which I still consider one of the better portrait that allow you to instantly magnify what kind of damage you're doing uh, with a little bit of a caveat, obviously. Uh, the more buffs you activate as far as the EX skill, so let's say when you activate EX skill, it comes to buffs. Those EX skill are definitely going to be benefiting a whole lot more than your strictly no additional effects. Um, EX skill because this one pretty much rise off from if you're activating EX skill that has buffs. So let's say if you're using two two or more EX skill that comes to buffs, definitely they run a lot of these uh let's say buff buff EX skill effects up. But if you're strictly running maybe only one EX skill that comes to buff, then I'll say go back to your regular um let's say go back to either these types of parts right here, the damage version of it, or you go back to something along the line of let's say just your good old regular power boosting um that's essentially how it works but uh that's pretty much all the five pilots that i do want to quickly cover for you guys uh, i know there's not a whole lot that people are working with from here but uh, i feel like kira uh and and estella are definitely going to be making that shooting base shooting base build really good uh but there's also actually one more that is not released yet as far as exchangeable so all the one that we're looking at right now you can actually use those uh four star um uh, ai uh, pilot ticket to exchange with them but the only one right now i'm going to point out has not been added is actually in here so it's actually it's not summonable yet not not that it's not summonable it's not exchangeable yet um that one is actually going to be trace here um so he's going to be another one that boosts shooting base why <laughs> why do we need that much someone explain that to me why do we need so much for shooting base build i don't know okay so here's another one that i feel like could be good but this one is pretty much the same thing as let's say uh master asian in a way so this one is buffing commander middle shooter but i think this one is actually really valuable for a free to play player or just maybe like spinner because this one actually comes with commander uh commander yes do know that is a very comp like one of those uh key component into making that shooting base build really good alongside with your commander or not commander um ace exclusive and then high fire power or whatever you're gonna do so this one i think is really good just for the commander tag itself uh, the buffs, like I said again, if you're activating two plus more EX skill that comes to effects, they are going to be really good. It's going to be benefiting a whole lot more with this portrait going on. So, um, but other than that, that's going to be pretty much it as for some of the AI palette that I feel like people should be looking out for, um, especially for your shooting base build. For melee, um, I really don't have anything for you guys at the moment. Uh, build project is still going to be better because they're because like like i said again we just we just don't have that solo melee um ai pilot that boosts damage at the moment so that's why uh if you go back to let's say some of your, or some of your build project ones they're still going to be really get great at the moment but other than that that's going to be pretty much it for me for the time being so uh, i'll be catching you guys on on the next one